Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit and we feel after watching this course it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Everyone checking in on Bitcoin. So after a breakout or a breakdown, it is very, very common to see what I call reaching an equilibrium where you have higher lows and lower highs and a tightening range. So here's the dump. There's the low of the dump down at 8.12. High of the bounce attempt was at 942, higher low 875, and this range is continuing to tighten. And if we zoom into the hourly time frame, we can see that with the range getting tighter and tighter. There's that 875 low, another lower high here at 909, and again I'm rounding. It was actually at 911, another higher low at 884. So this is likely going to break overnight, and we could draw some trend lines to be watching this as well. But I like to use the price action more than the trend lines personally. I use trend lines as a bit of a heads up that a break could be coming, but this is where I would be putting those trend lines. Looks like this support line could go all the way back there. And look how tight we're getting here on that little pennant pattern. Lower highs, higher lows. Break is imminent within the next five hours. So if we get a bull break, we're looking up to 9.11 resistance here, this lower high. If we get a bear break, we're looking down here to 8.75 that support pointed out on the daily. So you can see the MACD here is going back and forth, bull cross, now we're parallel close to a bear cross, but pretty much just waiting for this tight range to break, and that's going to indicate the short-term direction of where Bitcoin is, is headed. So let's look at it on the four hour time frame. a bit different view, a little bit more condensed. You can see those candlesticks continuing to tighten there as well. And in terms of which direction we're headed, there's not much of a clue here. We know the momentum is favoring the bears due to that dump, but the overall uptrend is favoring the bulls. So if I were not in a position, I would be waiting for the break of this pattern to occur before initiating a position. Otherwise, you're just guessing and hoping it breaks in your direction. Give up a little bit of reward to eliminate a lot of risk by waiting for the pattern to break here. Let's check that weekly time frame. We had the clear bearish reversal candlestick volume climax signaling the temporary top. And if we confirm this bearish reversal candlestick, which we are on our way to doing, we'll look at the 10 week moving average support. That's currently at 817, 816 and ascending. By next week, it will be a bit higher. It should be about 830 or so next week. So weekly time frame still consolidating. And it's all about that hourly tight pattern overnight. We'll see how it breaks when we check back in tomorrow. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.